Hello, everybody. Dr. Wickham Simons here. This is Michelle Kennedy. This is our fa Monday Facebook Live. Ask me anything from Dr. Simons Metabolics Weight Loss at our Raleigh location, just uh, off of 540 and Falls of Noose Road, where we are open. Um, so thank you for joining us. We appreciate that. And I want to mention about being open, uh, just because we kind of repeat this stuff a lot. We assume everybody knows it, but maybe everybody doesn't. We've been open, but you can also do a telemedicine visit. We're letting patients do that. Some patients don't want to get out. They don't feel comfortable getting out and all of that, being around other people yet. And we recognize and respect that. And um, so when you call to make your appointment, if you want to do a telemedicine visit, just tell the person on the phone. That way you don't have to actually come to the office. Now, uh, if you want to come to the office, you like that accountability, fine, come on, we're, we're open and we've been open. Okay. So uh, you got both options and, and we're trying to make it convenient for you. And, and look, uh, we will even make it even more convenient for those of you doing telemedicine visits. We can ship you your medication, for example, from our on-site pharmacy. Uh, some people don't actually want us to ship it and they just want to drive up front and call us. And then we take it out and hand it to you. And car. So uh, we try, I don't want to make the assumption though that everyone knows that. So when we do this, so just um, I'm reminding you at the beginning that these, these options are available to you. And they're being taken advantage of. So yes. you're not, you're not making any more burden for us. Don't feel bad if you feel like you want to do your visit over the phone. Just let us know. It, we can make it as convenient as you need it to be, whether you're coming into the office or whether you want to do it over the phone and then have it shipped or do the curbside. We've been doing it all throughout the day, every day with multiple, multiple patients. So again, welcome to the yes. Facebook AMA. Welcome Ask me some, anything. Some, let's get started. Let's what do, you do say? it. We got some great questions. Thanks to everyone who submitted some questions. We're going to start out with our first one from Tanisha. She says, what is the lipotropic injection shot and what area is it targeting? Great question. We mm. we still we've had yeah. these now for over a right. year. That's right. And, but it's still confusing to people. What is this? What are the different options? What exactly are they supposed to be doing for me? I think we got yeah. a couple of questions right. on the lipotropics. That's right. So maybe we can kind of kill uh, a couple of birds, birds with one, one stone yeah. in this case. Yeah, right? yeah. To connect, I guess yeah. Mindy from Carrie said right. she's still fuzzy, fuzzy on, on the lipotropics. Yeah. She's got a friend who gets them. Says she feels, feels great. great. Yeah. She doesn't really want to lose weight, but. Yes. She, could she still benefit? Yeah. Yeah, so, the answer is yes. Yes. That's, <laughs> and that's so, yeah, the lipotropic injections are a combination of uh, compounded. That means a, a pharmacist has to put this, mix the stuff together, compounded B vitamins, uh, amino acids, and fat burners, and uh, you give them as an injection mm -hmm. in the arm. And um, the, um, Although they may cause you to lose weight, I don't want to make claims where uh, sufficient evidence doesn't exist. It's not a lot of study on this sort of thing. So there's patients that will tell you, yes, I lose weight faster, but you may not. And I'm not going to make a claim based on that. Uh, so many people really like them though. Mm -hmm. They've tried them in the past. They do them here. And this comment by Mindy about how her, uh, what did she say? She says a friend, friend uh, yeah, and, and feels, feels great. great. Yes, this is very, very common. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that look, feeling better, having more energy, sleeping better, improved mood. These are things that we hear all the time, and so uh, we really recommend that if you're in the area, come by. We'll do these once a week. We have uh, attractive pricing on them, and you can come in any time that we're here uh, and and get them. You don't have to have an appointment. It's really easy to do, and uh, we have two different kinds. We've given them names. Uh, Super B and Fat Burn Plus. There's a, a slight difference in the ingredients, and I just want you to think that there's so many vitamins and fat burners in there that the pharmacist couldn't put it all in there with just one shot. It'd be too much volume of fluid to put in your arm, so we had to break them into two different kinds of shots, right? So uh, most people will get one of each, mm -hmm. and they'll do them on a weekly basis. I am one of those people, and it really I really love the way it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. So we have been running through the COVID-19, a special on these, uh, a buy one, get one special. So if you buy the Super B, you get the Fat Burn Plus free, and that's a $30 savings. So mm -hmm. um, 
it's a good time to try them out if you hadn't hadn't tried these out or if you tried them out you like them maybe you hadn't been coming you want to get started again the pricing is right up your alley mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'll just emphasize again we don't you don't need that need an appointment to get those you can walk in and get them and you don't need to be a patient either right. so if you uh, if you have a a child, a spouse, a parent who says, well, well can I try those? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on in. That is, that is no problem. Um, there is no risk. They're, they're not that painful. Um, usually we'll do one in each arm at the same time, yeah. um, at, you know, when you're here at once or in the hip. And they don't leave your arms feeling sore the way maybe a tetanus shot will or a flu shot might. And uh, and keep in mind too the the ingredients um, are super high quality, super um, you know pure types of vitamins, amino acids that the mm -hmm. body knows exactly what to do with. Some vitamins your body has to convert into other forms in order to use it. Not with these, they go in exactly the way they are going to be used. And most people say about a week, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks, they feel good from it. That does not mean you would not benefit if you don't come in every week. We That's have right. patients who just get them once a month when they're here for their visits and it works great for them. They get a like boost in the beginning of the month and they kind of ride it out through the rest of the month and then they come back and get another set. So you can't come in that often. It's still worth doing, especially because they're buy one, get one free. And it's a great special. Well, a lot of our patients take advantage of that. So um, either Raleigh or Durham, we are open, normal hours. Um, that means today in Raleigh, we're open from 11 to 7.30. And then in Durham, Durham 12 to 7. Yep. yep. That's right. 12 to 7 in Durham. Uh, and then we have, you know, I mean, we really, uh, we, we have later hours in Durham uh, during the week. But to be honest with you, uh, just like here in Raleigh, since the kind of lockdown stuff happened, uh, nobody's leaving work and then coming by our office later like they used to. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'll just say that on you know Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, in many cases, although the sign may say seven o'clock here in Raleigh or eight o'clock in Durham, um, no one's coming in that late. And so usually we're done by six thirty or seven in Durham. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so uh, if you think you're going to be coming in later, please call us to let us know so that yeah. we have an idea. And if you've called to make your appointment, that's all that's mm -hmm. been taken care of. So most people are coming during the day. Yes. And uh, I, that's, look, when this whole thing passes, we're going to get back to a more normal situation. And yes. I'm sure we'll have people taking advantage of those later hours. We do do uh, express hours here in Raleigh from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. every Thursday. So if you need it. If you're looking at the About our practice and at simonsmetabolics.com and um, anyway we have great uh, uh, social sites also and we want you to check those out mm -hmm. okay so you can go on to Charlotte from Raleigh yeah Charlotte from Raleigh is asking what's the difference between full and broad spectrum CBD oils and can you really feel the difference so we do carry uh, CBD products, but there are two different uh, tinctures. The, so yes, yep. so you've got and the full spectrum. This is the full spectrum. I got the, the broad blue. spectrum. That's the broad spectrum. Right. So the main difference is THC content. Yes. Mine has it. Yeah. His doesn't. The green doesn't have it. Michelle, in theory, has a tiny amount. Mm, very tiny. When amount. I say tiny, so there's about 120 cannabinoid oils in a hemp plant. One of those happens to be uh, tetrahydrocannabidiol or THC, all right? A marijuana is a type of hemp plant that has a lot of THC. Uh, most of you are familiar with this concept. It is the thing that uh, is psychoactive and makes you high when you smoke marijuana, for example. Okay, so under federal government legislation to produce CBD oil, you have to have less than three tenths of 1% of THC in your oil. And most uh, industrial hemp plants have a very small amount, but uh, 
there can still in theory be a tiny amount in there and that's what's in the blue. And the thing I like about Naturnal, this company that makes this is that they actually do an analysis on every batch and they'll tell you exactly what it is. And it ends up being between one and uh, 2% in most cases. Uh, if you want rid of that completely, uh, that's what the broad spectrum's about. They distill it completely off. There's an extra step where they completely get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And so this is useful in a person who might be doing regular drug testing, for example, maybe you work at a hospital, maybe you're a NASCAR driver, <laughs> maybe you're a professional athlete of some kind. See, they get tested a lot. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of stuff they would use, right? Mm -hmm. Versus that. Uh, this doesn't make you mind, does it, Michelle? No, right. not at all. And that's an important thing to remember is even yeah. though we are talking about teeny tiny amounts yeah. of THC and it's literally up to 0.3%. So this yeah. is a very tiny fraction. You do not feel any psychoactive effects that's from correct. the, the yeah. full spectrum CBD. Yes. Um, and just because that one doesn't have any and this one has a little bit, that doesn't mean that that one is any less useful. That's correct. It still is very, very useful. So if you are at risk for getting randomly drug screened or you know that it's coming, you know, the part of your job is to do them on a regular basis, then we would definitely recommend the broad spectrum. Yeah, that's so right. that wasn't a risk because even though it's a tiny amount of THC, it can still show up positive on a urine drug screen. Right. Yeah, in theory it can. And so uh, anyway, we carry both types. I want to talk a little bit about, uh, a lot of people ask me about these things, right? And say, you know, well, you know, how, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, you know, marijuana made me hungry when I did it and so forth. Yeah, the THC made you hungry, mm -hmm. right? The rest of the marijuana plant, the rest of the hemp plant doesn't make people hungry. And in fact, regular exposure to it has a lot of potential benefits. So your body has, a system that, uh, and it's a big word I'm about to use here, it's called the endocannabinoid system. So your body makes cannabinoid-like compounds. That means compounds that are similar to what's in the uh, hemp plant that bind receptors in this system and affect various things. Inflammation, mm -hmm. mood, hunger, right? And so um, these oils interact with that system in a very, very positive way. Now, what I'll say is regular exposure to the oil, the kind of benefits we hear is decreased pain from any source of inflammation, better sleep, better mood, and with consistent use uh, of uh, consistent exposure, what happens is you get a down regulation of the receptor types that are involved in hunger. Okay, they see this oil every day and they, you start making less of the receptors. So if your body's making those compounds that bind to the receptor that makes you hungry, now there's not as many receptors and you are less hungry. Yep. So most of you have met somebody in your life. I've met people like this and they smoke pot three or four times a day, right? They're using marijuana. They for a long time have used it. And we all know someone like this, that person is thin. And this is the reason that person is thin. Now you've also met the person who just does it on the weekend or periodically. That person laughs a lot, carries on when they do it. They eat a whole large pizza and a sack of French fries. You know, everyone's seen this in, before, right? And, uh, and so anyway, uh, the reason the first person is thinner is the regular exposure causes the down regulation of the receptor type that makes you hungry. And those people don't eat as much. So, uh, I'm not suggesting that you should become a regular pot smoker. That's a bad idea in my opinion. Uh, but regular use of these oils, when you talk to people who consistently use them uh, over time and they're faithful about it, they'll tell you they're less hungry and they crave less. Uh, it, from an exciting standpoint, those of those 119 uh, uh, cannabinoid oil types, uh, there are companies now that are and, and, and boutique and specialty uh, products will be coming out that target certain things like hunger by concentrating some of those. And I'm really excited about this potential as we go forward. And uh, I've, I've been working with uh, one such company and hope to be able to introduce some stuff here in our practice some time uh, that really does target your hunger specifically. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool, I think. Yeah. So yeah. for right now, until those come out, this is the best of the best, these, yeah, these maternal oils. We have them in our office. 
We are currently running specials on them. We have been for a while, 50% um, off the products. And in addition to the tinctures, we have topical, um, a butter, a muscle cream, um, a lotion, a salve. So we have a lot of different options. Um, Marsha is watching and likes our lipotropic injections. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks, thank everyone, you. for watching. Yes, we thank you, everyone. appreciate that. We appreciate your attendance. And we have a wow. question in our chat. Yeah. Is, is testing, testing ketones, ketones helpful? From Millie. Thank yes. you, Millie, for that question. Um, the, uh, the, the answer yeah. for, for me is it depends. I, yeah. I tell a lot of people it depends. What, do you, what do you do? That's tell exactly me? right. Yeah. I mean, I think it depends on the person. Yes. Adherence to a diet that would cause you to make the ketones is the most important thing. Right. 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 The presence of the ketones themselves does not magically lead to some special right. weight loss. It doesn't right? equate. So right. higher ketone level yeah. does not equate to higher weight loss potential. Yeah. And what is a ketone is, I guess, a good question to answer. So um, a ketone is a chemical that a compound that your your body makes when glucose is not a fuel source and instead fat is being used as the fuel source. And this is part of a ketogenic diet, an Atkins diet, a very low carb diet. There are different names. But ketones become your primary fuel source for your cells to give you energy when glucose is no longer That's the right. primary fuel source, when you cut carbohydrates in your diet way down. And there are different types of ketones, one you can detect in mm -hmm. blood, one That's you can right. detect in breath, and in one urine. you can detect in urine. Mm -hmm. So I think Millie is referring to the urine ketone strips, right. most likely. Yes. Those are widely. Um, and they, uh, like, like we talked about, they can, they can be useful, if you are just, you know, not so sure, if you're worried, if you're at the very beginning, trying to make sure that you're producing ketones because that will let you know you have reduced your carbohydrate enough in your diet. Um, but there are scenarios, for instance, people who have been on ketogenic mm -hmm. diets for a long time, they no longer produce that urine-specific ketone, so they may show up negative even though they're still in ketosis. Yeah, that's right. So, um, again, thanks, everybody, for watching. But this... Yeah, this subject is um, can be um, can get a little bit complex. Again, I'm I'm most interested in adherence to the low carb diet. The bottom line is you make if you stick to it, you, you'll make any one of these three ketones. And the ketone level on the testing does not determine how much weight you lose. So as long as you have the presence, even just a mild amount of them, you're doing fine. I encourage people who are testing to do it. Uh, late in the afternoon, right around supper time, mm -hmm. that's when they begin, that's when they peak. If you do it early in the morning, you'll find that oftentimes it's negative, but you're still in ketosis and you'll, you'll pick them up later in the day for various reasons. Uh, you know, while I talk about this, for those of you who are interested in sending in comments and questions, please do so. Uh, the, um, so, so anyway, I, I, I wouldn't get too, there's another reason you might do it. And that's just to, because there's a lot of people who like data and mm -hmm. data gives positive feedback for them that they're doing the right sure. thing. And so this is the reason you might do it. Look, ketones are a very potent uh, health benefit. Mm -hmm. And this is becoming clear. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors did not live. They did not go down to the local grocery store and buy a Snickers bar every day. There wasn't such a thing. Okay, they didn't have loaves of bread uh, from a, a finely refined flour and so on and so forth. They ate animals, what came from animals and what they could grow. And this was their diet. And they were always on a low carb diet. And they um, they were always in ketosis. This was the no, this is the normal human condition for millions of years until the last 150 years, really. And in particular, the last 50 yeah. here in westernized countries. So what we're doing in the United States today, diet wise, represents a historical aberration. And there's no, uh, there, it is no mistake that we have become the most obese nation on the planet, afflicted uh, multiple metabolic diseases like diabetes and lipid problems and so on and so forth. Uh, this, this is the reason, this is the reason why. And so this is why we teach this method of restricting carbohydrate. We are programmed as human beings uh, from a cellular standpoint to have this carbohydrate restriction. This is the way we were made. Mm -hmm. This is what we're adapted to. So. Absolutely. So ketones are not yeah. dangerous. That's right. Even though there is a condition called DKA or diabetic keto 
or acidosis you may or may not be familiar with. Different animal. That is totally different. So yeah. producing ketones when you're in a fast or when you're doing a low carbohydrate diet is a good thing. And you can always um, you know, reach out to us if you're watching and you want more information, let us know. We can, we can go more in, but in depth, but it's a, it's a complicated subject. But bottom line, test in the afternoon if you're testing and adherence is key. So let's move on to Charles' question. I think this is a good question. I yeah. think you would be the man to answer yeah. it. Charles from Raleigh. Seeing a lot of testosterone deficiency mm -hmm. related to weight. Uh, does losing weight really help get your testosterone level back to normal? Well, it certainly raises it. Okay, the presence of excess body fat suppresses your production of testosterone. Especially That's right. So when you lose area. this, you're going to make more. Now, whether or not you come into a, quote, normal range or not, uh, will only be known by testing. But I think it's an established fact that uh, obesity does in fact cause a depressed testosterone. And when you lose weight, it does come back up. Yes. And so the only question will be how much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's another good reason to get on a diet because just taking testosterone supplementation without dealing with your diet, in my opinion, is only half the battle, mm -hmm. right? You, yeah. you, you, it's only Absolutely. half the battle and you need it. You really need to be addressing both. Yeah. And I would say we, we have a, a good number of men in our practice who, once they have lost weight, have noticed that their, um, you know, their mood is better, their ability to gain muscle mass is better, their energy is better, all the things that yeah. you know, men want, you know, especially from weight loss, is to feel more like themselves. And so targeting this area with a lower carbohydrate diet, you know, fighting inflammation with things like CBD mm. oil, um, that's really where the, uh, where the, the gold is. At. Yeah, yep. that's, that's where it works. Where the action's at. Okay, I want to talk about a comment we briefly got from, uh, well, the, Lakita had a question about a multivitamin. Oh, we yeah. talked about this on the last, um, yes. this was the subject of our yes. last uh, Facebook and I. Um, uh, live, which is available uh, uh, on our website and it is available as a video you can watch. Mm -hmm. But we think that the Metagenics product that we carry here, the Phyto Multi, is the best multivitamin available. Mm -hmm. And we would encourage you to get some from our practice. It yeah. is the best. I won't spend a ton of time talking about it. Really I'll just refer you to that video where we explain why. Yes, Tina and I talked a lot yeah, about that. That's right. And then um, because time's kind of short here, I'm just going to comment real quick on Jenny from Durham. She is very mm -hmm. thankful that for our help, she says. We appreciate this, Jenny. Um, we really do. Um, and she's, um, she likes the fact that it's easy and it's convenient and uh, that we didn't make her sign a contract. And as a result, she feels comfortable referring people here. And this is exactly what we want. We don't want to make dealing with obesity a difficult thing, right? It's already hard enough. We are that's not right. here to make it any harder. In fact, we are here. And that's our philosophy. To, yeah, to, yeah. To ease you through this process and, and make it as uh, as painless as possible because we know it's it's already really, really difficult. So thank you, Ginny, so much from Durham for not just sending that question, but for referring so many people so she can do it without worrying that they're going to be taken advantage of. And, and we really appreciate hearing that because that really is our philosophy. Um, yeah, that's right. So. Yes. It kind of answered uh, Mindy from Carrie's mm -hmm. question. Uh, and then we have Suzanne from Durham going on vacation. <laughs> and uh, so most places are curbside pickup, right? So how can I stay on track while I'm away from my own kitchen? Mm. Well, a lot you know, of people are dealing with this. Yeah. Now that we're getting out and about again. Mm -hmm. ah, so. so I, you know, it just depends. Uh, every scenario is a little bit different. So you may have restaurants that offer uh, low carb options, right? So um, I was uh, at the beach on Saturday evening. Uh, some family members came from out of town. They wanted to go to the beach for the day. We spent the night on Saturday night and we ran into this scenario. So anyway, I got a side salad and some chicken wings and this was curbside pickup. And so that worked for me. Okay. That's good. If you're at the um, beach seafood too, that's it's a right. great option. Yeah, right. You don't you don't have to you know you don't have to get the French fries with the seafood. They'll give you right. another side, right? Yeah, some so, broccoli. That's or, right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. So you just gotta ask them. So there's those sorts of things. And then the other thing, you may be in a situation where it's just very hard to avoid, right? And uh, the carbohydrate. Now, I just say in this case, you need to use a portion control strategy. Okay, you're just gonna have the carbohydrates but you're not going to overload. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to, you're just going to, you're going to do it in moderation and that's your best bet. And that's what you got to do. 
right? And um, and you'll be fine. Yeah. You know, if you get a chance every day while you're on vacation to go out for a good long walk, that'll help burn off those extra carbohydrates. And um, and so, you know, take any uh, opportunity you have to get that sort of physical activity or exercise in while you're there. Yeah, we talk about vacation planning a lot. Um, we have like little kits we put together of our protein products because bringing stuff with you, well, at least in some scenarios, yeah. have already prepared you for not going hungry or having to fast if you did not plan on it. So yeah, you can right. bring some things with you. That's right. Um, and if there's grocery yeah. stores around, try to hit that up maybe as you're coming into town so you have some things. Um, and, and sometimes it's about budgeting, right? We budget our time. We budget our energy. Maybe we need to budget our carbohydrate. Maybe if you're going to have some margaritas with your friends on vacation, you don't also have the toast points that come with the appetizer. Yeah. You know, you, you uh, gotta, you right. gotta kind of yeah. decide what's, what's worth it to you. Um, and that's, that's something we do a lot is strategizing with patients when yeah. they're going on vacation. So we can definitely help you. Yeah. You need. I, um, I would also add just be, be sensible about how you choose your alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. Going on vacation doesn't yeah. mean that you got to, now let's face it, doesn't mean you got to get inebriated every day. Okay. Yeah. This, this is not, not what vacate. The word vacation doesn't have, as far as I'm aware, inebriation anywhere <laughs> in the definition. So it, uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times when I'm on vacation, I'll take sparkling waters, put a lime in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this time of year, it's hot anyway, mm -hmm. right? So you need to hydrate. Mm -hmm. So like every other beverage that I have is one of those. And boy, you feel like and look like you're, Feels fancy. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of feel like you fit in with everybody else and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then look, you know, if you have a beer, I always say have a light beer. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a glass of wine, don't make the biggest thing you can make. Just make make a normal six ounce glass, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if if you have a mixed drink, maybe just have one in the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, two tops. But the uh, but don't don't just even if everybody else is loading up and all that stuff. Look, that stuff always makes you feel bad the next day anyway, right? Yeah. So do it in, in moderation. These things in moderation are the way to go. And uh, whatever you do, don't drink and drive. That's not a good idea whether you're on vacation or, or not on vacation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, we're getting near to the end here. I want to thank everybody for, you know, all the questions you sent in and all that. And we really appreciate that. Uh, the final question we got it's something we've already talked about, but we'll reiterate it. Yeah, Monica it's about Express Durham. Hours, right? Yep. Thank you for your question, Monica from Durham. She wants to know more about the Express Hours. She's seen them in her emails, not sure what it is. The word Express definitely sounds great to her. So yeah, her, like many others, have a busy life and, and need to know that they have the option of being seen in a timely fashion. Um, so in, in Thursday morning in Raleigh, in the Raleigh location, which you are right now, Falls and East Road, uh, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., we have special hours that are exclusively for express um, visits. And then every other Friday, or is it the first and third in Durham? First yeah. and third Fridays? Mm -hmm. As of right now, first and third Fridays, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the That's Durham right. office. And what is an express is basically um, someone who is sort of on cruise control. They are doing a great job. They are doing well with the medication, with the dietary plan. They do not have a lot of questions. They need to be able to get in and get out in a timely fashion, either on the way to work, on the way from work, on a lunch hour. Because keep in mind, even though the Thursday morning and Friday mornings are, are exclusively for Express, we can still do an Express visit at any point during our normal scheduled hours. So it's not like you can only come in really early on Thursday or Friday. You could do an express visit during your lunch break if you need. Um, so really, it's just not having a lot of questions, getting in and out. And when you call to schedule your appointment, just let us know. I would yeah. like this to be an express. I'm going to be short on time. And what makes this work, too, is we are always available. So if you left and then remembered you did have a question, you email a provider, you call the office, you send a message through the portal at simonsmetabolics.com. So you're not getting, uh, you know, getting pushed out. We're definitely helping you with what you need. And then you have the option to contact us if, if there was anything that you needed to talk about. Okay. So thank you for that question. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Yeah, thanks so much uh, time for Time to joining. close the show. Thank you for joining us. And until the next uh, Facebook Live in two weeks, uh, everybody take care. We'll see you either at the office or on a telemedicine visit. Yeah. Have a great week.